This is stock number 20J8. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. Today we are checking out this awesome 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport S. This vehicle has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor, eight speed automatic transmission. And uh, more importantly, it has a two inch factory Jeep suspension lift kit done to it. It also has fuel 20 inch Assault rims and it also has the Pro Comp Extreme MT2 tires. These are 37 by 12 and a half R20 LT tires on this vehicle. We put the lift kit and tires and rims on in our shop. And uh, we actually did a test drive with a Gladiator that was set up identical to this one. And that's in the upper right hand part of your screen if you want to check out how nice this one rides and everything. Uh, check that out in the upper right hand part of your screen. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the styling and looks and options on the vehicle before seeing it in person. Bright white is the color. Check out those painted and polished aluminum fuel rims. Tires got a nice aggressive tread pattern yet still ride very smooth on the highway comes with the Jeep Performance Parts Fox Shocks, part of that two inch suspension lift kit. You get the blacked out Jeep and Gladiator lettering on the side, as well as some really good looking Gladiator decals on the hood there. Sport package is gonna give you the black plastic bumpers, the tow hooks there, factory fog lights. You get the little Jeep logos in the headlights there, and of course the lights in the fenders. We're gonna take a look at the original window sticker, so feel free to pause at any point while we're looking at this. I'm not gonna go over through all the options um, as some of them have changed with the lift kit, but uh, I'm gonna go over the main stuff, mainly the Sport uh, 24S package, which is a $3,200 op dollar option. Gives you the power windows, the power locking tailgate, speed sensitive power locks, power heated mirrors, remote keyless entry, security alarm, leather wrapped steering wheel, deep tinted windows, um, automatic headlamps, sun visors with vanity mirrors, and then um, that suspension, which is different now. It has the seven inch radio, which is a really nice feature for $995. Um, you'll get that seven inch radio, which also gives you the configurable cluster display, which is seven inch, which we'll check out in a minute. But more importantly, you get the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities. So if you have navigation on your phone, you can project it right to your screen on the radio. Sirius XM radio, as well for a year. You get the trailer tow package, which gives you heavy duty engine cooling and the receiver hitch, as well as the trailer hitch zoom, which is a cool feature, and the 240 amp alternator. Convenient scoop, which gives you the home link garage door openers, 395, cold weather group, heated seats, heated steering wheel and remote start, auxiliary switch group, which gives you the switches and the 700 amp maintenance free battery, eight speed automatic transmission. And then the black hard top is 1100 $95 option, Alpine premium sound system in this vehicle, and the spray and bed liner, which is a $495 option. So that's the MSRP. Obviously, it's going to be more with the lift, rims, and tires that are on the vehicle. In the upper right-hand part of your screen is a link to our website to get your summit price on this vehicle. 22 Highway 17 City, and it's not rated for any government five-star crash test ratings. I do want to check out this rear suspension, though. You get that Fox shock right there and show you exactly what this whole lift kit entails, which is gonna be this sway bar here, as well as the springs and then the shocks. But feel free to take a look here. At the underbody, you got the 44 Dana front and rear axles. And as we come around to the back of the vehicle, take note of that receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wire, and you get the black tow hook back here as well locking tailgate backup camera and this is a shock down assist tailgate so that comes down nice and slowly it's never going to slam down on you you have these spray and bed liner the led bed lighting and if you take a look at the back of the cab there or the front of the box however you want to call it they got those little notches right there that's if you put um, motorcycles or dirt bikes back here that's kind of a lineup for the tires kind of a cool thing there and then of course all the tie downs that are in the back of the vehicle bed rail covers on all the gladiators comes with that black hard top the heated power mirrors Torx 50 
is on the door hinges so you know which Torx wrench to use on the doors. Comes with the tan and black cloth interior. Also side curtain airbags, standard. Driver's seat height adjuster and lumbar. You have the factory floor mats in here, auto headlamps. There's your controls for your fog lamps and the cargo lamps. That's how you turn your box lights on. And then tilt and telescopic steering wheel, power mirrors and power locks. And as we hop inside here, you can see that seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, outside temp, compass, and you can configure those corners to read whatever you want. If you want this in kilometers per hour, uh, you can do that as well. You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and then of course all uh, Jeep and Rams have the audio controls on the back, while well, most of them do. Anyways, 7 inch uh, touchscreen radio, the Uconnect system, has AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. And uh, like I said before, it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so if you have navigation on your cell phone, you can connect and project your screen to the screen up there through USB. Um, so if you've got navigation systems such as Waze or Google Maps, you can project it to your screen and use it through the screen. Or if you've got media like songs and stuff, uh, you can project that there and control your phone through the screen. Very cool stuff. You also have your climate controls here. Notice you get dual climate controls. And then you've got your heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons. And then the backup camera is an HD backup camera, so it's very crystal clear. Those grid lines are dynamic, meaning that they're going to turn as you turn that steering wheel. And then that center line lines right up with your receiver hitch. And once you get really close to whatever you're hooking up to, whether it's your boat or your camper, press that plus button, and it's going to go right over that receiver hitch so that you can get it lined up perfect every time. Really cool system there. If you don't like using the buttons on the screen, some people don't, you get the more tactile buttons down here for your climate and your audio controls, your tune and volume. You also have your start-stop capability, stability control, and then your speed select crawl control. Power windows, you also have your media center here, which you get a, an AUX, USB, and a USB-C. Four upfitter switches, the command track four-wheel drive system with the shifter right there, and then the eight-speed automatic transmission, you get a little gladiator symbol right there. Keyless entry, remote start. I love the Jeep keys flipper key. They're big, they're chunky. You definitely know which key you have in your pocket at all times. Very solid. And then you get that silver bronze-ish finish to the dash. These uh, hard top pieces are identical to the Wranglers as far as how they come off. You got the quick releases there and then the two clamp downs in the front. You got your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And then you do get the uh, lights back here. We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll check out, we'll do a final walk around. Decent room in the back seats. You get the latch child safety system back here. Sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. That is a manual slide. These seats do fold down. A uh, little bit of storage back there and there's those bolts to get that back hard top piece off. You got your bag for all your uh, front hard top pieces and then you have storage for all the bolts for the doors and the roof and the windshield. Factory floor mats back here. And you do get the child safety locks on the back doors. We'll do one more final walk around of this really good looking Jeep Gladiator. Bright white is the color. I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have gotten a really good idea of the looks and styling on this Gladiator and the lift that we did to it. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to our website www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto 
Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more Gladiator videos like this one on your right. If you haven't been to our website, on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out. We look forward to helping you with this 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport.